Hello? Anybody here? Guys? Kermit? Clifford? Oh, man, it's Heather the Locklear. That's her voice. That's her. Hello? What do you think she's gonna do to us, Johnny? I'll tell you what she's gonna do. She's gonna blackmail all of us. And she'll start love triangles. Yeah. Worse, she'll frame us for murder and we'll all go to the electric chair. Be quiet. See if you can see her through the keyhole. Yeah, yeah, Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. 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 studio later. Oh, Clifford, huh? what's going on here? Uh, well, uh, some of the other guys are a little uh, scared of you because, uh, well... Uh, because of all the bad things I do on Melrose Place? Yeah. yeah! Guys, that is just a show. In real life, I am perfectly normal, nice, decent person. Really? Yes, I couldn't hurt a flea. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Really, 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 Well, that doesn't count. You're starting to annoy me. I could see that. It's Muppets Tonight with our very special guest star, Heather Locklear. If you're a human being, take a break from the Welcome to Muppets Tonight, the show that has people all over the country saying... Get that thing out of here now! Oh. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Anywho, our special guest star tonight is Heather Locklear. Yeah, give it up. But to start things off, let's take a trip to everybody's favorite hangout, where the Java's hot as lava and the mocha is no joker. The local coffee emporium. All the double latte, please. Uh, make mine a macchiata, a double on the double. Please. Huh? Say, uh, fella, uh, what is it with everybody? Why do they drink so much darn coffee? Hmm. Hey, Teresa, like this cat wants to know why we drink so much coffee. Hmm. Coffee! 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 <laughs> oh! Way down among Brazilians, coffee beans grow by the billions, so they've got to find those extra cups to fill. They've got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. What, no tea or tomato juice? <laughs> You'll see no potato juice. Really? Because the planters down in Santos all say no, no, no. You can't get cherry soda because they've got to sell their quota. And the way things are, I guess they never will. They got an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. We are all drinking way too much caffeine. Caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. Ah. When Brazilian ham and eggs need savor, coffee ketchup gives them flavor. Coffee pickles far outsell the deal. Why they put coffee in their coffee in Brazil? You get a man and find out later he smells like. His cologne was made right on the grill. You could percolate the ocean and run. So you head to the local color, serve some coffee with a crawler. Duncan doesn't take a lot of skin.
Should have ordered a decaf. Good, 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 good. Yeah, nice work, dancers. Very good, very good. Nice work. Uh, nice work, Steve. Oh, well, thanks, Nigel. <laughs> oh, oh, there's my body. Oh, over here, fella. Oh, oh, look at him. Poor guy doesn't have a clue. <laughs> to, to, your, to your left. Uh, no, no, to your right. Uh, headless body walking around. Can I get a little help? Can somebody please help uh, Steve get uh, his body? Ooh, 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 back, ooh. around the back. You know, when Heather Locklear agreed to do our show, she wanted to do something intelligent and sophisticated. And this is what we came up with. Muppets Tonight presents the Hardy Pig Boys in the mystery of the zombie queen of the Amazon outer space jungle bee woman case. <laughs> Based on the novel by Jane Austen. Oh, who wrote this? We, we did. did. <laughs> Here we are, Andy and Randy Hardy Pig Boys. Us, junior space boy pig detectives. Marooned on a strange planet. Mm. Yes, because we are here to solve a mystery. Mystery. <laughs> huh? Ooh. Oh, who are you? Uh, this, this mystery's mystery too hard. Science, prepare to meet the sophisticated and intelligent ruler of this planet, Queen Hawaii. Uh, how are you? Oh, not bad. How are you? <laughs> we, we don't, don't get, get it. it. <laughs> Clifford, uh, Clifford, you can't make me go out there. Oh, please, Heather, these pigs wrote this for you. Look at those little pork rinds. They're knocking themselves out. So you say they studied with Lee Strauss pork? Eight long years. All right, I'll do it. But I'm keeping the costume. <laughs> Fine with me. Make me for the queen! So, hearty pig boys... <laughs> What foolish quest brings you before Queen Hawaii? Hawaii? Not bad. How are you? <laughs> we still don't get it. <laughs> but I thought you wrote it. Well, yeah, but we based it on one of those Jane Austen things. Yeah, you, you know, those things that have the hard cardboard on the outside and the soft, flat stuff on the inside? You mean a book? No, pizza. <laughs> Your script is based on a Jane Austen pizza? <gasps> it is? <laughs> wow! Clipper! Oh, oh, man. Uh, yo, yo, zippity. Hey, listen, if Heather Locklear is looking for me, uh, tell him at a, a Neil Diamond concert. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> no. 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 Mm, what were you thinking when you wrote this? Uh, nothing. nothing. Well, here's five pages with nothing but doodles. Doodle, 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 doodle. No. Hmm. Oh, well, this is funny. Let's start right here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. okay. All right. Hardy pig boys, prepare to meet your fate. I will sacrifice you to the most horrible and terrifying monster of them all, Frogzilla! Gee, this is fun. I never get to play the bad guy. Okay, and uh, QI Station Zebra and... I don't want you! you. I'm freezing my stripes off out here! Oh, Beaky, our new Mood Meals experiment could be a breakthrough in culinary science. A single bite of this biscotti here releases a spate of endorphins into the cranial cavity. Translation? It makes you incredibly nice. <laughs> but one chomp on the dreaded chimichanga Ooh. has the diametrically opposite effect. Mimi. It makes you incredibly evil. <gasps> now, Beaky, I've got to go to the little scientist's room. Ooh. I want you to take these back to the lab for more testing. And don't forget, biscotti good, Ooh. chimichanga bad. Ooh. Hey, Beaker, where are you going with those snacks? <laughs> Let me see. Don't hog them all to yourself. Ooh, those look good. <gasps> Should I have biscotti or chimichanga? <laughs> all right, you convinced me. The chimichanga. <laughs> oh, this is tasty. You know, you muppets are the... What are you looking at, you little swizzle stick carrot top? <laughs> oh, you, you, you. It's always about you. Here's something for you. Oh, how dare you! You got 
guys were really wrong about Heather Locklear. Hey, Mika, how you doing? She is one of the sweetest. Did you? What the? Fasten your seatbelts, furballs. It's gonna be a bumpy night. <laughs> oh, shoot. I left my car windows open. That makes me really mad. <laughs> My new Mood Muse is a smashing success. Oh, gosh, I love science. It's so controlled and precise. <laughs> a bigger, stop playing around. Run for your lives! Run for your lives! Quick, 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 quick! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Quick, quick, quick! Kill something! Kill, kill, kill! kill, kill, kill. And now another episode from the files of Fairyland PD. Tonight... The Emperor's lewd clothes. Oh, he's... Yo, Bobo. Yeah? I didn't know you wore glasses. Oh, I don't. It's a disguise. Oh, yeah. Like, like no one is going to recognize you if you're wearing a pair of glasses. Hey, hey, it works for Clark Kent. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, well, Clark Kent is Superman. Oh, yeah. Clark Kent and Superman are the same. Wait. Mm. You know something? Mm. You're right. Mm. Hey, that's why you never see them in the same place. I told hey. you. I told you. All right. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> what do you think of my new wardrobe? Hold it right there, body beautiful. Where do you think you're going? Yeah. What do you mean? You can't traipse around in your birthday suit. It's indecent exposure. Mm. But I'm completely clothed. Can't you see my cape and my pantaloons and my ooh, cute little doublet? And Well, that's the problem. We can see your cute little doublet. Yeah, it ain't too little or it ain't too cute. Mm -mm. But you don't understand. Stand. I'm the Emperor, and these are my new clothes. Yeah, yeah, and I'm Gladys Knight, and he's one of my pips. Yeah, okay, we're taking you Let's in. Let's go, hey, boys, what do we have here? Ooh. Yeah, Chief, we caught another one. Yeah. Mm. Whoa, Your Majesty! What? <laughs> oh, what? so good to see you, and uh, and isn't that a cute little uh, doublet you're wearing today? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off. I left my tutu in the dryer, and I mustn't let it shrink. Uh, yes. <laughs> but, 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 Chief... Oh, I know, I know he's naked as a jaybird. But, hey, he's the emperor. He signs the checks. What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, uh, look, Clifford, if you see Bobo... Oh, oh I... Chief, hmm? Chief, oh. Chief. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. What? <laughs> what an amazing disguise. Oh, Here, let me try it hey. I told you. I told All you. All right, Bobo. <laughs> ah, there, what do you think? <laughs> Hey, who are you? Huh? What'd you do with the chief? What? Okay, buddy, you're under arrest for kidnapping. Come no, on. no, it's come me, on, I tell on, you. On, I'm the chief. Yeah, come on, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. 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 Yeah, I could put her in the Muppet Heights sketch where she can be meaner than she ever is on Melrose Place. No, I don't think that's going to happen, Clifford. Well, what are you trying to tell me, Dr. Dew? Well, I administered the biscotti antidote, which made her as nice as a wedding in the Bahamas on a fine spring day. Oh, oh. Come here, you little oh, cassava oh, head. Oh, oh. All right, all right. Cue Muppet Heights. What? Get out of the way. I'll do it myself. 21 Muppet Heights. Starring Johnny Fiamma as Clark Barr. Sal as Chaz. And Bill the Bubble Guy as Councilman William B. Guy. Ah, the doorbell. I wonder who that could be. Aha! Oh, well, 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 Chaz. Mm. And what are you doing here? Where is the Amanda? Where is she? She's in the bedroom and she won't come out, Johnny. Hmm. It's not Johnny, it's Clark Chaz. Okay, Clark Chaz. No, no, no. You're your Chaz. I'm Clark. Clark Bar. Clark Bar? Hmm. Clark Bar, like the what you, candy? What are you talking about? Mm. It's my nick. All right, forget about it. Just do your line, Sal. Okay, Johnny. I mean, Clark. Chad. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I can't believe this. Me, the most powerful lawyer in 21 Muppet Heights, and you, a successful male supermodel. <laughs> Here we are, both being taken advantage of by the Amanda. Come out! Come out, the Amanda, and let the world see the evil side of womanhood. Hey, 
guys. Look, I knitted mittens what? for everyone. Mittens? What are you talking about? That ain't in the script. I know, but your hands look so cold. Excuse me, dear Amanda, but I must demand that you return those incriminating photos that you took of me naked. Well, I have a better idea. Why don't we have a slumber party and make s'mores? Okay. Oh, terrific. Encourage her. Aha, I caught you too. And with a monkey, no less. Uh, who is this? I am Councilman William B. Guy. Bubbles come out of my head. Oh, that's precious. Can I see? Oh, okay. I'll blow you a deuce. <gasps> oh, goodness. What do you call 12 dozen? Oh, I love bubbles. If you look real closely, you can see a tiny little rainbow in each one. You noticed. Oh, she's right, Johnny. All right, all right. You know what? You know what? This whole, this whole show has gone to the back house. I have an idea. Why don't we brush each other's hair, and then we can play Twister. I'm in. Okay, me too. Oh, man, look at Heather. She's getting all sweet and mushy on us. Hey, don't worry about it, Chief. I'll get Bunsen and Beaker to straighten this thing out. They can't possibly screw up twice in the same show. Okay, cue Tales from the Bat. Cue Bat. Cue, 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 cue. Get out of the way. <laughs> Welcome to another blood-curdling episode of Tales from the Bat! <laughs> Excuse me one moment. Mouch, mouch, mouch! 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 This music cue is going on forever! Good, good. What's good about it? You're back there with your A track playing the entire Goldberg variation while I'm out here rolling my eyeballs like that's going to scare anybody. Go on and take me to the union, you creep. See what I care. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. I'm Dr. Phil Van Neuter, your friendly veterinarian. <laughs> Come with me now as I open the files to the strangest animal stories ever told. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Excellent choice. Tonight's case is the chilling saga of a little piggy with an unusual appetite. His name, Percy. His passion, pork. Don't that scare you just to even hear it? Yes, always! For this is the tale of Percy the Ham-Eating Pig! Mmm, <laughs> boy, this is good. Best sandwich I ever ate. Mmm, hey, you know what this would go great with? Eggs. This stuff and eggs. Mmm. Hey, I wonder where Uncle Oscar is. <laughs> Needless to say, Percy loved having his family for dinner! Ah! Anyway, that's it for another chilling installment of Tales from the Vet. So until next week, mouch, mouch, music! We can use living still. The theme from the Patty Duke show? Mouch, what does this have to do with anything we're doing here? Oh, good grief, that's the last time I hire somebody from my wife's side of the family. No, I'm not going to dance. No, I'm certainly not. Oh, all right, I'll dance. Oh, gosh. Well, Jack's look pretty good at this. <laughs> oh, looky, Beaker. It's a throw pillow featuring the periodic table of the elements. I made it for you. Oh, how sweet. But we must get to the problem at hand. We are going to use hypnosis to integrate the good and evil sides of your personality. Cool. Okay. Book. Book. Now... Look deep, relax. When you hear this sound, I will be speaking to the mean and nasty Heather. Beaker? Oh! Oh, dear. You again, huh? Oh. All right, here it is. You two make a pretty good living here, tampering with snacks. Ow, 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 ow. Well, you either cut me in on the action, or I will shut you down so fast, you won't know what hits you. Quick, Beaky, go back to the nice Heather. Uh, uh, you know who doesn't get enough credit? Ooh. The Osmonds. Oh, don't you just love the way babies' heads smell? Ooh. If you could bottle it, you could make a mint. Good. Now we can begin the final process of integrating your personalities. Heather Locklear, your one and on stage. Heather Locklear, on stage for the final, uh, 
number. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> couldn't afford a PA system. <laughs> well, that's all right. You're special in your own wonderful way. Uh, I am? Uh, Heather, you can't leave. You're still hypnotized. Oh, this is most irregular. Oh, what a lovely day in the park. I think I could just sit here and enjoy the sun and the flowers forever. Right you are, Heather. For you see, I was strolling through the park one day in the very merry month of May. I was taken by surprise by a pair of flirty eyes while strolling through the park one day. Okay, back here. What are you looking at, Green Boy? What? Ooh. Woo! These modern dance routines are getting nuttier every day. I don't think that's part of the routine. I better go and check on Bunsen and Beaker. All right. Oh! Please! <laughs> when she winked those baby blues at me, it was very, very plain to see. And our love would surely grow like a river it would flow and she'd be mine eternally we're gonna hear from people <laughs> oh it must be the taps hey come on guys let's end this quickly huh come on <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, why are you bringing that TV back? Yeah, it's, it's from, from the, the Muppets, Muppets Tonight, Tonight Sweepstakes. We won? No, we lost. Oh! <laughs> yeah, give it up, give it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, this is the bird. Kermit and I just did the cutest little number and look i'm wearing petticoats uh, that, 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 that's great heather uh, hey bun bun do what you got to do well, well clifford i'm afraid this case calls for the trout and noggin technique what's the trout and noggin technique well beaky takes a trout what? and whacks her on the noggin <laughs> <Thus -ly. laughs> oh. <laughs> wow i feel completely normal again as if my personality had been integrated by a fish. Told you so. Oh, man, that's great, Bun Bun. Heather, it's been nice having you on the show, uh, both of you. Well, thank you, Clifford. We enjoyed it. Uh, say goodnight, Heather. Goodnight, Heather. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I never get tired of hearing that. No. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. I'm going to catch you. Careful, careful, there. Careful. I love this biscotti. <laughs> oh, I hate these chimichangas. <laughs> oh, and I love this biscotti. <laughs> and I hate these chimichangas. <laughs> Oh, and I love this lamp. No, <laughs> oh, I hate this alarm clock. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, she locked herself in the bedroom and she won't come out, Johnny. Uh, no, no, it, it's not Johnny, it's... Uh... Ha, 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 ha.